Hello everybody, it was fun making that last um, viewer request video, uh, so we're going to do another mailbag special here. Um, let me open up the mailbag and see what somebody wants. Okay, this is from Shannon Davis. Uh, she's uh, got a question about Floriani Total Control. Hi Brad, hi. Uh, would you consider expanding this video to include importing the applique into Silhouette all the way to cutting the fabric and embroidering the design? I have not found a video that shows how to get the design to the fabric to the embroidery machine. I watched most of your videos yesterday and got a lot of good information. Thanks. Well, you're welcome, Sharon. And you're right. It is uh, not particularly intuitive how this works. Um, basically, what we're going to have to do is um, create an outline in Floriani, export that line to Silhouette, um, and make sure that everything's the same size uh, and cut out the letters from fabric in Silhouette. Uh, so. Let's go ahead and get rid of my mailbag here, and we're going to begin. Uh, we're going to start in the Floriani program, so go ahead and open your Floriani Total Control Professional Embroidery Software, uh, and we're going to choose Create a New Design from my Floriani today. Um, now, we could do this with really any shape that we could draw, um, but I'm going to do it for simplicity's sake. I'm going to do it with one of the built-in applique shapes that already comes with the program. The applique shapes are in this uh, little thing right here. It's got a book, like a little patch kind of looking thing on the icon. It's right next to the wizard. We're going to left click on that and scroll through here and find one that you are interested in doing. Um, so they've got a ton of these. Uh, these are all pre-made appliques. Um, so, you know, you pick whichever one you're into. I'll do dance. Why not? Click OK. So these are already applique letters. Okay, so this is made to uh, have first a single line of straight stitch, and then you put your fabric down, and then it tacks it down, and then you trim all around it, and then uh, it goes and puts a finishing stitch down. So to eliminate uh, the major pain in the butt part of that, which is the cutting, what we want to be able to do is take this shape and send it to the silhouette cutter and have the silhouette cutter cut out my, uh, my, my, my letters for me so I don't have to do it manually. Um, so how are we going to do that? What we have to do is uh, take this design and export the line that makes up this design and bring it into the Cameo cutter. So uh, to do that we have to convert this. It can't actually be an applique when we do that. So. Um, before we go and, and export it, let's make sure this is a size that we want. So we look under the transform tools here. This is 10 inches wide. Uh, that's big enough. Um, so yeah, that's fine. 10 inches by 3 inches, sure. We'll do that. So what we're going to do is right click on uh, one of the, the letters and choose convert to, and we're going to set it to convert it to artwork. And now that it's converted to artwork, we have to go up to the file menu up at the top left hand part of the screen, file, and we're going to go to export artwork. From export artwork, you need to put it somewhere that you know where it is. So I'm going to just put mine in my uh, digitizing images folder. And you need to change the type from scalable vector graphics, SVG. You're going to change that, this little arrow here, to AutoCAD DXF. AutoCAD DXF. Now, so save it as something. I'll save this as dance. Hit save. Okay. Now, we need to open up our Silhouette Cameo program. I'm going to open up my Silhouette program. And one, while you're waiting for this to load, there we go. It's loaded. I'm going to go up to File and Open. Now, uh, this is already looking in my digitizing images folder here. Um, so you navigate to wherever you saved it to and then change it so that it's, instead of looking for files of type Silhouette Studio, change it to look for AutoCAD Interchange File, DXF. Left click on that. So there's my dance.dxf. We need to click OK. And there it is. OK, now, so I can just take this and sew it out, right? Well, not exactly, or not sew it out, <laughs> cut it out. Not exactly. Uh, we have to make sure that it's the right size first. So 10.35 inches is our width here. Um, 3.045 is our height. So let's compare that to the design over here. We're back in Floriani, go to the transform tool. This is the width is actually 3.2 and the height is 3. So we need to actually change this in the silhouette program because it doesn't bring it in at the same size. 
right? It does not bring it in at the same size. Um, so you have to go in and change it. So the first thing I want to do is group these letters together so they're all one thing. So I'm going to highlight everything and then move my mouse over one of the letters and right click and choose group. Okay, now that's made this all one piece so I can move it around without accidentally just picking up one out of the middle. And then we need to go uh, to the uh, to the sizing uh, part of this. We could just click and drag and, and stretch it to the size, but I want to just manually type in uh, the letter. So the scale window is what we're looking for. It looks like a little box with two arrows coming off the diagonals. Left click on that, and then we can specify the dimensions. I forget what my dimensions were. 10.2. Okay, so we should have 10.2 for our width. So we're going to change our width. We're going to leave this on lock aspect ratio and set the width to 10.2. And we should also now make sure that the height is now 3. It is. Good. That's as long as we lock the aspect ratio, it should set that. So 10.2 by 3. Double check. 10.2 and 3. Okay, so now our line matches um, our, our embroidery design. All right, so I just moved it, and that just messed it up. Okay, so you gotta make sure that you don't do that. 10.2, hit apply, and we're good to go. All right, so you take this and you cut it out. So we go to file, uh, where is it? Send to silhouette. I don't have one. Um, I don't have a silhouette in in this machine, uh, so it's not going to do anything. But then you hit cut, and it'll cut it out. So you're going to cut the cut this out of your um, your fabric that's going to be your applique fabric um, and there you go you do that so we go back to the studio or to the um, that studio the Floriani program and we're going to change this back to an applique right click convert to applique boom change any settings we want to change over here if we don't want it to be a satin stitch we want it to be a blanket stitch or you know whatever you want to do to change the settings you can do that um, and you're just going to save this as the embroidery uh, format that you use, you know, PES for Brother Baby Lock, JEF for Janome, or, you know, whatever for whatever you have. Save as, save as a design, save it as a PES, dance, save, and that's it. That's, that's how you do it. So, um, again, you can do that with any shape. It could be any shape that you draw. It doesn't have to be a shape that, um, you know, it's one of these built-in ones. You could do this with uh, true type art also, instead of doing it with the, the pre-made art that comes with the program. So it's pretty straightforward. You just have to, A, make sure that you export the correct format, which is DXF. And then when you bring it into the Silhouette Studio program, you have to know that it does not make it the, the same size as your original design was, okay? It does not. You have to manually set it so they're both the same size, or it will not work. Um, other than that, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I uh, hope I helped some people out. Um, uh, I know I don't have a video that shows the right way to cut out um, fabric with your Cameo cutter, but there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Just do a Google, just do a YouTube search for cutting fabric with the Cameo cutter, and there's plenty of people that that have great videos on how to do that. Um, but um, anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope that everybody enjoyed that, and in particular, uh, Shannon Davis. I Hope that this answers your question adequately. Um, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.